Hi everyone, this is Melissa with The Creative Season. This is our weekly 15-ish minute painting and talking time where we create lovely works of art in just a few minutes. It doesn't have to take a long time to finish a little watercolor sketch. I am inspired by all things fall, so we are painting on four by six watercolor papers, really fun trees and pumpkins using some splatter art, some micron pen. If you wait for this to dry and then add a little bit more splatters and a little bit more pen, it really adds an extra pop. I hope you love creating these as much as I do. Hi everyone. Well, we are in the thick of fall. The leaves are turning. There's pumpkins everywhere. I'm absolutely loving it. And it is also time for me to finish writing up some more of my fall snail mail. And I want to include some fine little art bookmarks that people can use this fall or put up on, as on their refrigerator or whatever they like to do. So what I'm going to be doing when I send out mail this week is I'm just painting a bunch of trees with pumpkins and um, they're on four by six pieces of paper. Uh, I'm just currently using this going through this watercolor pad um, and I am just going to go ahead and start painting. I just love, I have really enjoyed painting small art and I always really enjoy painting fall art. So this might be a fun project for you to do. You could even include a quote or a Bible verse on there. I'm going to start with going on my branches and I have, making sure you're coming in a little closer, I have um, just sketched out the trees with a micron pen. So the micron pens, I love them. There's just so many things that you can do with them. And it's a great way when you don't have a ton of time to sketch out with pen and then start adding in your paint. Especially when I tend to be a little bit of a quick painter, I can be a little bit impulsive, even sometimes maybe a little bit impatient. I'm gonna go ahead and add some branches up there too. I'm gonna let that dry for just a second and I'm gonna go over and paint my other tree trunk over here. And I had kind of messed up a little bit on my sketching. I made this trunk a little bit fatter than I intended it to, but that's okay. Trees all look differently, right? I have been doing a lot of walking and noticing how every tree is so different as I'm looking at like the leaves coming down and how the leaves color, how they change colors. Every tree is a little bit different as well. And the different shades of yellow and burnt orange all sorts of colors on the trees. And yes, I'm using a couple of different browns. I'm using raw umber and some burnt sienna today. Okay, so letting this go down, I've got my pumpkins down here and I'm gonna go ahead and I will put in, I'm gonna use some cadmium orange. Instead of mixing colors today, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the color I have available. So putting this down and laying that paint down. I'm gonna add some red to it to liven it up. But remember cadmium orange can be a little bit um, more opaque. It doesn't always play as well with other colors. So I am gonna drop in the orange, even with a little bit of pink would work. I'm actually gonna put a little bit of, yeah, just a little bit of, a little bit of the pink here to give it, just to brighten up the orange. And I'll probably come back, maybe a little bit of red too. just like that. Okay, so now that I have that down, I'm gonna start laying down some color for my tree. And I'm thinking that I'm not gonna put a background. I'm just gonna start doing splattering. I've done this before. I did this with like a long page, like a real horizontal one last year. The nice thing with the fall colors is all the colors blend so beautifully that you're not going to really cause any big blunders here. It's not as if I had a bunch of pink and green and then it all turns to brown. The yellows turn, look so beautiful together with the oranges, with the reds, all the different colors. So I'm gonna go ahead, I've got some red, and then I'm gonna put the red in here. And then what I'll end up doing as the colors blend is I'm going to start moving the paint around and forming some of the trees. I'm gonna add some gamboge as well. Over here, gamboge is a wonderful, it's not really orange, it's not yellow, it's almost like a gold color, and I really, really like it. It's a beautiful, beautiful fall color. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start just using my brush, 
and see how the colors just start playing beautifully? And I am just gonna move that around. And it, you can just cut out, if you have a tree maybe that you're using as your model, you can see kind of where the leaves are going. And if you wanted to you know, dip your paint or your brush into some paint and then keep going so it picks up a little bit heavier on my gamboge. You can do that too. Going to come back over here, just like this, and just let it move all over. And this is a big tree. I'm it almost as like a Winnie the Pooh tree that is just moving out. Remember too, we're gonna have more, more color probably if this is a sunny day. The, the leaves down here will be more in shadow, right? So we'll add that in. I'm gonna go ahead and also make a little path back here with my burnt sienna. And I think down here, I'm gonna go ahead and do some splattering just around the tree a little bit with some red and then with some gamboge. And we're gonna create the sensation of like the leaves piling up. Sometimes the splattering will create a little bit of texture, which I really, really love. But again, this is a nice light, you know, not light ske watercolor sketch. I'm not going into too much detail here. Putting some color around here to show those leaves falling. I might come back in with a micro pen later. I can certainly do that and add in some more detail. Certainly if I'm gonna add a quote, I'll come back in with the micro pen. I'm gonna grab that cadmium orange and put some cadmium orange here and come over here now too. And again, we're not taking too long. I could probably do, if I can do two of these in about, my goal is again, less than 15 minutes. That means I could probably get like eight done in an hour if I was really have everything prepped and ready to go, which is really pretty productive. You could slow it down a little bit if you wanted to. Now, if you want more splatters or bigger splatters, just turn to a bigger brush. So I've got, what size, this is a five. So I could go up here, I think this is what, this is, this is a six, so it's a little bit bigger. I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna pick up some orange, and then you can start seeing, see how much bigger those splatters are. And I'm just going right over the top here. I'm gonna pick up some brown too, and do some brown splatters. Maybe some brown splatters over here too. It just feels fun too, because the leaves are literally falling outside. And then we are also creating a sense of leaves falling or even flying, you know, the way they move as they fall gently down. It's kind of fun to be walking underneath them as the leaves are falling on your head. You get to walk through them a little bit. So that's a bit of red. I'm gonna go ahead and take this red down here and just move it in my little piles of leaves that I have going down here. Pick up some yellow. We're gonna splatter down here too. There's just certain seasons that just give themselves a splattering. And I think fall is one of those seasons. There's that favorite quote, at least it's one of my favorite quotes about fall. And fall teaches us how beautiful it is to let things go. I think I mentioned it last week on the YouTube video. And it does, there is a beauty in watching all of those leaves let go. It's sad to see them go, right? Because um, we know that means winter is coming and the trees are going to be bare and it's going to be super cold outside. But if you're going to have to go and things do have to go and seasons change, what more beautiful way to do it than in the way that the trees do it, right? That's what I think. They just show us how to throw a party and say goodbye in the most beautiful of ways. So I'm just tapping around here. And isn't this fun? I just have so much fun doing this. And you can see too where I think with the brown that we just kept a little bit more of that color versus over here, I've lost a bit. It looks like it's washed out, so not a big deal. I'm gonna come back in with my brush. Some of those splatters washed it out. And so I'm just gonna come back in and add in some more color. You can wait till it dries or you can do it now. If things are still wet, you're gonna see a bit more See, you'll see it bleed into different areas. That's okay. That is okay. I'm just gonna let that go right up here and I have another one up here. Just showing where all those branches are extending. And then if you wanted to as well, sometimes I'll show like the trunk, the tree, the roots that are kind of popping up underneath. I know I definitely have that in one of my, one of my childhood houses for sure. 
And so I'm going to pull it up so you can kind of get that sense of what it looks like. And yes, it's still white in the background. So if that looks too white to you, you can do a couple of things. Come back in and just you know do some additional splattering. That will help create that sense of texture, but then also create some contrast. So what I'll do to finish up is I am going to go ahead. I'm going to take a little bit of the, the burnt, the uh, Sienna Brown or Sierra Brown. Burnt Sienna. Wow. I can't even, can't even think today. Burnt Sienna. My colors are all mixed up in my head. And I'm going to go ahead and put some shadows under the pumpkins here. I'm going to go ahead to and out here just to highlight that horizon line, that little path that's in the background. And then I'll add just a little bit of contrast and a sense of popping the tree a little bit forward. Over on this one, I will go ahead and take some of the gamboge. And again, right around my pumpkins. And over here, if you ever felt like there was too many splatters, you could certainly take your paper towel and then just gently just go like that. But I think they're really lovely. If you want to make your trees a bit thicker. You can certainly splatter them now, but if you, it's still wet, it tends to just look like it is um, almost um, like a water stain. So you want to be cognizant of that. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll let everything completely dry, and then I'll come back and put one more um, one more layer of, of I almost said sprinkles of splatters. And the reason is, is instead of blending together, it will sit on top, and then you'll have a fresh layer of splatters sitting on top of the previous layer. So I'm gonna use the red to show you because that'll be really obvious. But right now you see how the red kind of just blends in, which is fine. But it means that it's probably gonna buckle, the paper will, instead of creating another layer of splatter. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna move these colors around, but the orange and the red. So yep, I am getting some depth for sure. That's really kind of popping off the page there, right? But then I'm gonna probably come back in a little bit and then I'll finish up and add maybe just another layer of, sp of splatters there. But even that, I mean, isn't that pretty? It's not too bold, and so I could really easily write a quote all over on this side, or on this one the same thing. I can even write it kind of within the leaves on the side right here. But I'll do a few more splatters over here using some yellow. I'm gonna pick up some orange and then, yes, some red, because the red's really gonna add a little bit of water and then just let, I didn't finish my sentence, the red's gonna add that depth. It will add the depth and almost a sense of thickness. You can also add in some brown, but just be careful about adding too much brown when it's wet on wet. Okay, I think that is looking really nice and really lovely. I'm gonna put just a little bit more right down there. I'm gonna pick up some yellow right down here, a little bit more up here, and wasn't that fun? And really, so, I mean, so easy. So easy. I'm going to add some another layer of leaves right over here. Not difficult at all. I just had a blast. I love the pumpkins. I do want them to be a little bit more colorful, especially these guys. So I'm going to come back over here. I'll probably add in some brown for their stems, but I'm afraid it's going to blend right now. So I will leave that alone and come back. But just an easy way to create bookmarks to send in the mail to use for yourself. You can write a verse on them, write a note on them, tuck them into someone's lunchbox under a pillow. Super fun things for fall. So happy creating, happy painting, and I will see you back there.